Welcome to today's Yoga for Celebration. I'm Dr. Christine. Start in a seated position on your mat. Sit comfortably with your legs crossed and your spine tall. We're going to begin by inhaling and raising our arms high. Clasp your hands above your head and now push them forward and round your spine as you exhale. Open up that area between the shoulder blades. Now inhale your arms high again and straighten your spine and lower your hands back to mat. We'll begin with some seated cervical spine stretching. Bend your right ear to your right shoulder and give a little added pressure with the right hand to deepen the stretch. Return to center and do the same thing to the left, bending the left ear to the left shoulder and giving a small amount of added pressure with the left hand. Return to center. Take a spinal twist by looking over your right shoulder and twisting at the waist. Return to center and twist to the left. Good range of motion is crucial to the health of your spine. Return back to center. Now we'll set up for a child's pose. Come into a wide-legged child's pose by placing your knees at the edges of your mat and folding forward to melt your chest down toward the mat and you can rest your forehead on the mat. Stretch your hands out in front of you as far as you can and press your tailbone down to your heels. Put a little bit of pressure from your hands and forearms into your mat. Come out of your child's pose and come into tabletop. Now we'll do cat-cow, inhaling as you drop your belly to the mat and looking up and exhaling as you tuck your chin to your chest and look down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale cow, exhale cat. Your body and your breath are moving in synchronicity. Keep going at your own pace. Now we're going to come into a downward facing dog. Press your body into down dog, all 10 fingers pressing into the mat with strong yogi hands. Pedal out your dog by flexing each knee one at a time. We're just getting limbered up here. Your breathing is steady and the pace is slow and easy. Walk up to the top of your mat and settle into a forward fold. Your first forward fold for today's practice, so it's fine to have a little bend in the knee. As you breathe, think of lengthening your spine and folding. Let gravity do the work for you. Come into a halfway lift with a flat back, hands on thighs or shins, and fold one more time. Inhale, rise up into a strong mountain pose, arms overhead. Your core is strong and muscles are engaged. Bring hands to heart center in prayer position and feel in your body what it really feels like to celebrate, to have joy, to be happy. Inhale your arms high once again and now forward fold with a swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift, and now exhale, fold one more time. Clasp your arms in a rag doll. Take a deep seat and now roll your body up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, arms high, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Take rag doll arms, bend the knees, and now roll your spine up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale for a halfway lift and fold. Ragdoll arms. Now roll yourself up. Inhale, arms high. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Roll up one more time. 
Inhale your arms high and pause here in a strong mountain pose as you check in with your body and see how it feels. Feel it more alive. Feel the blood moving. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And now place your hands on the mat and step into a high plank, lower into low plank. Inhale, up dog or cobra, and press back into a downward facing dog. Pause here in your down dog. Pedal it out again if you like. Walk or hop to the top of your mat and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise up, mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to mat, high plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog or cobra and push back into a downward facing dog. Walk or hop to the top of your mat. Take a halfway lift and a forward fold. Rise up, mountain pose. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, hands to mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Walk or hop to the top of your mat. Take a halfway lift and a forward fold. Rise up, mountain pose. Bring hands to heart in prayer position and now step into a crescent lunge, left foot in front, right foot in back. Your right heel is pushing toward the back of the mat. Your right thigh is parallel to the ground. Arms are high. On your next exhale, take hands to mat and push back into a downward facing dog. Hop to the top and come into a halfway lift and a forward fold. Rise up again, mountain pose and hands to heart. Step back with the left foot into a crescent lunge. Arms high, heel pressing to the back of the room. Hands to mat, press into a downward facing dog. Walk or hop to the top of your mat, take a halfway lift and a forward fold. Rise up, mountain pose. Hands to heart, and now come into crescent lunge again, left foot forward. Get into a deep crescent lunge, and then we're gonna launch ourselves into airplane. See if you can do it without touching your foot to the mat, but if you do, that's okay, just try again. Start an airplane, and then bring your arms in front of you into warrior three. Return to your crescent lunge. Open up into warrior two. Check your warrior that your body's in good alignment, hips are facing the side of the mat. Cartwheel your hands to the mat and push yourself into a downward dog. Walk or hop to the top of your mat, take a halfway lift and then a forward fold. Rise up, mountain pose, and come into crescent lunge with the right foot in front, left foot in back. Deep crescent lunge, arms are high, and get ready to launch yourself into airplane. Come forward into airplane on the right foot and then move your arms from the back to the front into a warrior three. With grace, return to your crescent lunge. Open up into warrior two. Make sure the weight is on the outer edges of each foot. Cartwheel your hands to the mat and push yourself back up into a downward facing dog. Walk or hop to the top of your mat, take a halfway lift and a forward fold. Rise up, mountain pose. Hands to heart. Step back into your crescent lunge, left foot forward. Arms are high, heel is pressing to the back of the room. Launch into airplane, and now warrior three with arms in front of you. Return to your crescent lunge, arms high, open up to warrior two. Now, take an extended side angle, reaching with your right hand to the front of the room. Return to warrior two, 
cartwheel hands to mat, high plank, into a downward facing dog. Walk or hop to the front of the mat, inhale halfway lift and exhale fold. Rise up, mountain pose. Hands to heart, step into crescent lunge, right foot forward, left foot back. Inhale, arms high. Launch yourself into an airplane. And now warrior three. Return to your crescent lunge. Arms high, open up to warrior two. And now take extended side angle. Return to warrior two, and now hands to mat. Push yourself back into a downward facing dog. Come to the top of your mat, take a half lead lift and a forward fold. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose. Bring your hands to heart. Step into crescent lunge, left foot forward, right foot back. Inhale, arms high. Get ready to launch into your airplane. And now arms forward into warrior three. Return to your crescent lunge. Arms high, open to warrior two. Extended side angle. Now take a bind by reaching with your left arm under the thigh and the right arm reaches around behind your back to clasp the left hand. Gaze up to the sky. If that's not in your practice today, just stay in your extended side angle. Now place hands to mat and push back into your downward facing dog. Come to the top of your mat, take a halfway lift and a forward fold. Rise up, mountain pose. Hands to chest and again, crescent lunge. Right foot forward, left foot back, arms high. Launch into airplane. And now warrior three. Return to your crescent lunge. Arms high, open up to warrior two. Extended side angle. If you tried it on the other side, take the bind on this side as well. Reaching under the thigh with the right arm, reaching around your back with your left arm. Gaze to the sky. Return to warrior two, hands to mat, come into a plank, lower into low plank, inhale upward facing dog, exhale downward facing dog. Now come down onto your knees and take a child's pose. You worked hard, just settle in here, give your spine a rest. Now push into a downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg high and bring it forward into a half pigeon. Start with your chest proud and your spine tall, gazes forward. Now gradually fold from the hips to come down and rest your forehead either on a block or on the mat. Allow your body to melt into this position. There can be a lot of strong sensations with this one. If you have trouble keeping your hips pointed down to the mat, place a towel roll or a block or something under the right hip. Go ahead and come back up so that you're looking forward. Tuck a block under the right hip. Reach forward with your left hand to grasp your left ankle, flexing the knee. Gaze is up. This is an intense stretch for the left hip flexors. Release. Remove your block. Come into down dog. Now inhale your left leg high. Bring the knee forward. Take a half pigeon with the left leg in front and with your spine tall and chest proud. Now gradually hinge forward from the waist so that you can lower your forehead either onto the mat or onto a block. Let gravity do the work for you here and melt all the tension in your body. Unclench your jaw, 
and relax that space between your eyebrows. Your hips are pointing down into the mat. Push yourself back up onto your hands again. Take a block, tuck it under that left hip. Bend your right knee and grasp it with your right hand. Proud chest, gaze forward. Release your ankle. Return hands to mat and remove your block. Now push into a downward facing dog. This is a good reset after pigeon pose. Come to sit on your mat now and we'll take a forward fold. So put both legs out in front of you. Spine is tall, inhale arms high and hinge from the hips one vertebral segment at a time, bending forward, folding forward over the thighs. And finally, bending forehead toward your knees. Toes are pointing up to the sky and allow the muscles in the backs of your legs and in your back to melt. Inch your way back up to seated. Now go ahead and place the soles of your feet together. Hold on to your feet with your hands. Have a nice tall spine and again, forward fold. Keep breathing, slow and steady. Go ahead and release that stretch and sit tall. Now we'll take a seated spinal twist. Place your right foot on the mat, your left leg is bent, and go ahead and twist from the waist and look over the right shoulder, looking behind you. Return to center, alternate your legs, placing the left foot on the mat, tucking the right leg in, twist from the waist. You can put a little pressure with your right elbow on the left outer knee. Return to center. Now go ahead and lie down on your mat on your back. Bend your knees and we'll set up for bridge. Your fingertips are nearly touching your heels. Now clasp your hands behind your back and press your hips up to the sky as high as you can. Keep your knees pointing forward and keep your feet pointing forward. Keep breathing. Lower yourself one vertebral segment at a time and now give your knees a hug into your chest. Now press your feet up to the sky into waterfall. Your hips are at a 90 degree angle and your feet are flexed as well. Feel the sensations of the blood coming back down your legs. Now press up into a shoulder stand. Shoulder stand, you've lifted your hips up off the mat you're supporting your hips with your hands and your toes are pointed to the sky. If you like, bend the knees and come into deaf man's pose. Let your knees fall to cover your ears and your feet can touch the ground behind you. If this, isn't, if this is too intense, just stay in your shoulder stand. Now roll yourself down one segment at a time back into waterfall. Bend your knees and hug them into your chest. Give yourself a little rock back and forth to massage the muscles of your spine. Now lower the left leg and draw the right bent knee across your body and come into a supine spinal twist. Look over your right shoulder. Check your shoulders and if they're not both on the mat, come out of the stretch just a bit so that both shoulders can be on the mat. Return to lying on your back. Give your hips a little bit of a lift to reset the spine. Draw left knee into chest and draw it across your body, outstretching the left arm and looking over the left shoulder. 
for another supine spinal twist. Don't force this one. Just breathe steady and let gravity do the work for you. Come out of your twist. Give yourself a little spinal reset by lifting hips and shoulders. And now lie flat on your back in Shavasana. Enjoy your day, my yogi friend. Namaste. All right, thanks for being here. Before you leave, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll know when I go live or when a new video drops. And visit me at christinebreadstreet.com. Love to you all. Bye-bye. See you soon.